Uh, for those who do not know who I am, my name is Brian Bandmeter, uh, and I'm a marketing manager here for Grandstream Networks, typically covering you know a fair amount of these webinars. Uh, so if this is your first time, thank you so much for joining me. Uh, and this is not your first time. You guys are coming back time and again. Thank you so much uh, for joining as well. Uh, but like I said, today we're here to talk about the GWN 7664. Uh, it's our newest Wi-Fi 6 access point uh, in our most powerful one yet that we're pretty excited about. Uh, before we jump into that, though, specifically, uh, let's just kind of just look at our GWN series in general, if you're not familiar with it. Um, so the GWN series, we have a whole variety of powerful Wi-Fi access points uh, that all offer high network performance, industry-leading coverage ranges, fast provisioning, uh, and multiple management options. We have a wide variety of access points depending on your needs. So when looking at it here, uh, for our indoor access points, we have everything from our GWN 7630 all the way up to our brand new GWN 7664, uh, which is Wi-Fi 6 certified. Uh, we do have our GWN 7660, which is our other indoor Wi-Fi 6 certified device as well. Then we also have a variety of long range options all the way from our GWN 7600 LR uh, all the way to our single Wi-Fi 6 long range and outdoor access point option, the 7660 LR. So when talking about Wi-Fi 6 and these new Wi-Fi 6 access points, uh, this is including the GWN 7664, our newest Wi-Fi access point that we're going to be talking about in a moment here. Um, you know, all these access po uh, points are a member of the Wi-Fi Alliance, our Wi-Fi 6 access points. Uh, if you're not familiar with the Wi-Fi Alliance, uh, it's a worldwide network of companies um, that all sort of agree and work within the certain standard that is provided. Um, and just to provide one of the most uh, consistent connection everywhere uh, to everyone, uh, all sort of aiming to provide a consistent Wi-Fi experience no matter what the device is, no matter what the brand is. Uh, but the Wi-Fi Alliance really drives global Wi-Fi adoption and evolution with its thought leadership, spectrum advocacy, and industry-wide collaboration. Uh, and we're really proud to have our Wi-Fi 6 access points uh, certified by them. So like I said, our GWN 70, uh, excuse me, our GWN Wi-Fi 6 access points are all Wi-Fi 6 certified. Uh, you can tell because it has the little Wi-Fi 6 uh, mark at the bottom there. Uh, but when the product passes the test successfully, our manufacturer, which is us, we can use the Wi-Fi certified logo. But basically, end of the day, the certification with this means that our product has been tested with numerous configurations, with a diverse sample of devices, and it, it just totally validates the interoperability of other certified Wi-Fi equipment uh, operating within the same frequency bands uh, is essentially what all this boils down to when it comes to our Wi-Fi 6 devices. But with that, and to kind of talk about the specific Wi-Fi 6 device we're here to speak to today, uh, is the GWN7664. Uh, so we'll go ahead and be talking about a technical overview first of this device. Then we'll kind of take a look at some, some specific technical uh, aspects of it that are great for you as the installer uh, that make this a really competitive device in your deployments. And then we'll cover some deployment scenarios and use cases. But talking about the GWN 7664, just with a sort of zoomed out uh, look here at its capabilities, it has a 3.55 gigabit per second aggregate wireless throughput. This is one of our most powerful Wi-Fi devices yet. Uh, not one of, it is our most powerful Wi-Fi device yet. Uh, with the 3.5 gigabit per second aggregate wired throughput, of course, it's not so much you know, the amount of data it's able to take in, but the amount that it can pass with that wired connection to end of the day. Uh, so you want to make sure that it, it, it does support that sort of Wi-Fi infrastructure that you're deploying it in. Uh, it does have that uh, DLUL uh, OFMDA and Mumimo technologies that are supported by Wi-Fi 6. And if you're unsure what that is, we'll be covering it in just a moment here. 
does have a coverage range of up to a staggering 175 meters like most of our indoor access points. Uh, we definitely always aim to have these access points cover the most amount of ground possible, the most amount of space possible, just so that one device can really go uh, the extra mile. Advanced QoS features in this device uh, help ensure real-time performance of sort of low latency applications. And then the sort of self-power adaptations upon auto detection of PoE and PoE Plus uh, is definitely just a small little feature that's ha helpful with this. And last but not least, or one of the major things to point out here, uh, with this, our last bullet point here, is the embedded controller that can manage up to 50 local GWN series access points. Uh, and the GWN Cloud uh, offers unlimited access point management. That's our sort of cloud-based uh, manager for these devices. And GWN Manager is an on-premise software controller. So there's a lot of different ways that you can control and manage uh, your Wi-Fi environments, whatever you deploy it into. I'm just going to take a quick sip of water here, guys, and then we'll keep going. Yeah, I just want to remind you guys, too, you know, if you're experiencing any technical issues, like you're not, anything's freezing, I, I see some, some people are just experiencing maybe the presentation's freezing while most uh, everyone isn't. Uh, there will, this is going to be recorded, and I will be sending out the slides afterwards, so don't worry too much. You will still have access to it once this is all set. Uh, but just going on here, our GWN 7664, to take a little bit more of a detailed look at some of our features here, um, it does support the 802.11 AX code, code excuse me, standard. Um, that is the Wi-Fi 6 standard. Uh, but the 2.4 gigahertz frequency band uh, can support anywhere from 8 megabytes per second up to 1,147 megabytes per second. And then our 5 gigahertz standard can support anywhere from 8 megabytes per second all the way up to 2,402 megabytes per second. Together, uh, these two frequency bands can offer a total wireless throughput of 3.55 gigabits per second. This is a staggering amount of bandwidth and data, the most powerful one on the market, uh, and can really support a lot of dense Wi-Fi access, Wi-Fi applications. So concurrent devices is another major thing here um, that matters a lot. Uh, we have 512 concurrent devices that are supported by this access point, which is one of our most powerful yet. Uh, so, But this is mainly thanks to the Wi-Fi 6 technology, which allows the GWN 7664 to, high, to handle high number of concurrent devices without sacrificing performance at all especially when you're really hitting that top number. A lot of the, a lot of the capabilities of Wi-Fi 6 allows those devices to be able to really effectively share that bandwidth, which we'll talk about a little bit more in a moment here. So just talking about Wi-Fi 6 and with the GWN 7664 and some of our other Wi-Fi 6 access points in general, there's definitely a question asking why should you choose Wi-Fi 6, which is totally understandable. Um, so the main interest with Wi-Fi 6 is a total global improvement of your Wi-Fi environment that you are deploying. Uh, users will definitely experience this in increasingly common situations, but this is mainly to where many devices are connected to the same network. Um, you'll also see improvement in lower latency and in security, um, but when it comes to Wi-Fi 6 technology, the, the main thing we want to focus on here is where there are many different devices all connected to the same network. So there's a few different reasons for this uh, with our Wi-Fi 6 devices and for the GWN 7664. Uh, one of the major ones, though, is OFDMA. Uh, but this is a technology that enables the access point to connect with many different devices at once. That's unique to Wi-Fi 6. So looking at the technical aspect here, OFDMA, MA essentially partitions each radio channel into smaller resource units 
that is strategically allocated across client devices. So essentially what this means is that bigger packets of data can more easily be put together into these resource units and allow the access point to work more efficiently across client groups. So in contrast with legacy access points, uh, legacy access points can communicate with only one user per channel at a time and must essentially kind of hold that line open until given a transmission and that transmission includes going back and forth. And obviously this is happening incredibly rapidly. Um, but as a result, the wireless performance often suffers in high density environments when you're talking about Wi-Fi 5 access points. Uh, you have many, many, many different access points, uh, excuse me, many, many different client devices. They're all sort of competing for bandwidth, they're holding channels, uh, and it just takes more and more time. With Wi-Fi 6 and OFMDA, each radio channel has smaller resource units, which can all sort of speak to clients simultaneously. So just to put kind of some of our a little graph here, comparing Wi-Fi 5 and Wi-Fi 6. So with our frequency and time, you can see on the left when it comes to Wi-Fi 5, all those channels are sort of dedicated to a single Wi-Fi LAN packet going to a single client, uh, which obviously, you know, this does work, but when you get to highly dense deployments, this isn't ideal. With Wi-Fi 6, uh, the frequency in the Wi-Fi wi LAN packet can actually be partitioned uh, and spread out, allowing uh, one channel to be able to carry more data, uh, which is ideal. So Wi-Fi 6 also has BSS coloring, uh, but this just helps reduce channel overlap problems within access points. Um, just, a, just a pretty simple kind of diagram here to help explain it. Without BSS coloring, um, sometimes your leap from access point to access point uh, will be at the little bit less ideal time. So for example, our jump from access point two to one to three with our image here on the left uh, may not even really need to happen when it does, um, but it does just when you find a stronger single uh, signal at all, which it may not even be necessary. But with BSS coloring, it's easier to set up and prioritize when that leap from access point to access point uh, will actually happen. So it won't just instantly click over uh, with clients experiencing interruptions with their Wi-Fi service and those YLAN packets sort of getting interrupted. Um, one of the biggest examples of this use case being helpful uh, is within your Wi-Fi voice deployments. All right, so talking really quick about MooMimo technology with our Wi-Fi access points in the GWN 7664 here. Um, MooMimo helps once again more with those multiple users. So multi-user MIMO allows multiple Wi-Fi devices to simultaneously receive multiple data streams. Uh, so essentially a wireless access point can send data to four different Wi-Fi devices at the same time. Moon Mimo can greatly increase the network's throughput. Uh, and this is a real asset, once again, for those high density networks. It just allows one access point to communicate more and more and more uh, with more devices. So through OFMDA and MooMimo, uh, this allows multiple devices to simultaneously transmit. Um, you know, it kind of seems like the same technology, but this is the different. OFMDA can help in high density environments, while MIMO, MooMimo can aid in high throughput applications. Uh, so MooMimo typically deals a little bit more with the throughput and the bandwidth, while OFMDA is a technology that helps with all the different devices and categorizing that uh, between the Wi-Fi bandwidth across these devices. All right, so that's a, pretty much a look into a lot of the sort of in-depth technology with Wi-Fi 6 and the GWN 7664 um, and what sort of makes it such a resoundingly powerful device. Uh, just to talk about management options here, our GWN series uh, all support three different wire uh, management options that are really helpful for you all as the installer. 
uh, all the devices have an embedded option uh, that can manage a set amount of access points. And you should definitely, you know, if you're ever wanting to use this, make sure you check the data sheet because it is listed there how many access points the embedded option can manage. So there's no additional cost for using this. Uh, it depends on the master access point of how many other access points it can manage. So like I said, be sure to check that data sheet. I believe the GWN 7664 is, is somewhere around 50, but don't quote me on that. Like I said, check the data sheet. Um, but this is ideal for a local deployment. So if you just kind of have a small access point deployment, you're just sort of doing this as a one-off thing, um, this would be great for that. Uh, we do have the GWN.cloud, which, you know, if you're deploying our access points and you're not using this, you really need to start to take a look at this. Uh, but the GWN.cloud uh, is our cloud-based management platform. It's totally free to use. There's, you know, no, literally no cost associated with it at all. Uh, and there's no limit on the number of access points you can have. This is really great too, because you can break down all of your access points against various sites. Uh, so essentially you can manage all of your access points deployments all from the same cloud portal. Uh, you can troubleshoot them from the cloud, change settings, whatever your client may need. Uh, it makes it much more helpful this way. And then uh, last but not least, we have the GWN Manager, which is the same thing as GWN Cloud, to be honest, but just it's just a software version of it. So in these deployments where security is definitely a concern, they don't want cloud management, uh, you can go ahead and download GWN Manager and you have access to all the same features, but just set up on a local server deployment. Uh, and this can manage up to 3,000 access points. Uh, if I, you know, if I'm just being honest with you, just, you know, as installers, if you're looking for something that's ideal, I would recommend GWN Cloud or GWN Manager. I'm not saying the embedded option isn't very useful, but you're definitely missing out on a lot of features that are just completely free if you just use either GWN Cloud or GWN Manager. So please just be sure to take a look on that. Uh, GWN Cloud can just be accessed by typing gwn.cloud in a web browser, and GWN Manager can be found on Grandstream's website under our tools section. Okay, uh, so I'm gonna talk about deployment scenarios real quick, uh, and then we'll be all set here, but I'm just gonna take one more quick drink of water. Let's go ahead and keep going. Uh, all right, so deployment scenarios. Uh, last topic we really wanted to cover here when it comes to our GWN7664. Um, so the base question here that at least I wanted to cover to help you all out is just when you should choose the GWN7664 other our other GWNs. I mean, we definitely have a lot of access points. Why this one compares to some of our others? Pretty easy que uh, question to answer. There's three major factors here to keep in mind with when you should choose this device. So the GWN7664 is our most powerful access point to date. Um, so it has that 3.55 gigabit per second total wireless throughput. Uh, the second major benefit that we talked about today is the Wi-Fi 6 Mubimo and OFMDA technology that helps with high density deployments. And the fact that it can support up to a staggering 512 concurrent wireless clients. Uh, so those are, I would say, the three major factors um, that you should consider when choosing this device. So our target use case in this example for using this is indoor environments with intense Wi-Fi bandwidth demands. So the two things that you want to look for here as an installer is extremely high concurrent clients. Um, you know, so maybe public deployments, transportation hubs, et cetera. And the second major thing is large data transfer, such as live streaming video, smart video on audio devices, and large file downloads. Uh, these two things come together to sort of offer up a, a perfect storm that allows the GWN7664 uh, to truly shine. So looking at one kind of deployment scenario here, 
SMB and enterprise offices, uh, definitely a great option here. So medium and large offices can utilize the GWN 7664. It helps create a mobile workplace that supports your high bandwidth activities. So the extremely high throughput and Wi-Fi 6 supports multitudes of devices with simultaneous streaming. So in your more dense office deployments, the GWN664, a single device can go a really long way. Uh, this is especially true in office deployments that serve industries such as marketing, where you have a lot of people downloading larger files uh, in working and video streaming, a lot of different assets. Uh, On-site IT teams can easily manage, configure, and troubleshoot Wi-Fi network. Hey, listen, end of the day, if you're looking to just deploy these devices and sort of they have the IT backend to manage it, uh, they can easily do that with GWN Manager and take care of it on their own, uh, which is always a great option if, if that's the route you want to go. Um, and then OFMDA and QS standards more efficiently organizes and prioritizes your Wi-Fi usage for bandwidth necessary applications such as Wi-Fi voice and video. Uh, essentially what this boils down to is because of Wi-Fi 6 technology, um, if there are a multitude of devices and sort of how they're being used up and flow throughout the day, um, you know, let's say we're almost at the maximum that an access point can handle. And a lot of people are sort of streaming video, downloading different files uh, using Wi-Fi voice. Uh, the Wi-Fi 6 access point, the GWN 7664, can actually prioritize the traffic uh, of the video applications and the Wi-Fi voice to make sure there's no drop of, excuse me, to make sure there's no drop of quality there while maintaining a sort of more lower bandwidth sort of throttling file downloads. Um, but this is just fantastic, just if there's ebb and flows in its usage throughout the day, you can always ensure the quality of those sort of applications that need high quality. All right, our second deployment scenario is commercial and public settings for the GWN 7664. So we're looking at large commercial and public environments here where there's a lot of different Wi-Fi devices throughout the day. So libraries, transit hubs, such as train stations or airports, uh, internet cafes and hotel business centers. So these all tend to have high users with high bandwidth requirements, a lot of different devices simultaneously sort of competing for bandwidth and access point access. So the high bandwidth and Wi-Fi 6 standard of G the GWN7664 can easily be leveraged and provide a fast connection. So this helps keep customers happy because in the end of the day here, when you're deploying for these public environments, your customer is of course, you know, your mall or your airport or whoever it is, but it's also their customer as well, the individuals that will be using this environment. Because uh, I know I can speak from experience. There's nothing more frustrated than being at an airport or, you know, being in a public environment and not having access to good Wi-Fi, especially if you're trying to work. Um, I'm sure a lot of you have experienced this as well. Um, so there's also multiple network SSIDs and client configuration settings that can be used to customize different networks. Um, so with the GWN 7664, and this is actually true with all of our Wi-Fi devices, uh, you can actually customize and totally set up client and staff networks uh, just to make sure that the staff has access to specific Wi-Fi that they need throughout the day. And then captive portals help create a secure public Wi-Fi channel with passwords and lead capture as well if that is necessary. All right, uh, and lower and higher education is our last deployment scenario that I want to take a look at here. Uh, so both lower and higher education are, we're seeing more and more leveraging of smart devices, laptops for educational purposes. And this of course comes with a certain level of bandwidth demand and bandwidth needed. So client configuration with the GWN 7664, uh, this allows students in lower education environments to access Wi-Fi during specified times through certain access points, uh, or with white light, white listed devices, you know, of course, in a lot of public education settings and private education settings for that, you don't want to just give access to students to be able to use Wi-Fi for anything. 
uh, that's more of a deterrent to education in some cases than it is to supporting it. So the GWN series is capable uh, of setting up certain websites, specified times, uh, or through specified whitelisted devices as well. Um, so this is, though, when it comes to 7664 specifically, uh, more ideal for high-density solutions. So looking at our computer labs, our lecture halls, and other high-device environments where there's a lot of typically bring-your-own device being used here. All right, and last but not least, uh, a Wi-Fi network can easily be adjusted uh, for year-to-year -year needs as students fluctuate. So it's really simple to be able to change these access points, especially with our variety of management options, whether it is the embedded controller, GWN Cloud, or if it's our downloadable software uh, managed controller, GWN Manager. All right. Okay, everyone, uh, thank you so much for taking some time out of your day just to learn about the GWN 7664. I think we're, yeah, we're pretty much right on time here. I think I just went about five minutes over. Uh, I hope you all learned a lot about the GWN 7664 here. Uh, if you did have questions in the chat, uh, I did see them here. I'm going to follow up with you guys individually on those. Uh, so just look for an email from me. Uh, this will send a follow-up email automatically, but I will also reach out to you. Uh, and probably within one business day here, we'll have the recording uploaded and the slides and the recording sent out. Uh, so just keep an eye on your inbox for that. Uh, it will be an email from me uh, as well for that. So just look out. Well, yeah, so thank you so much, everyone. I hope you have a great rest of the day. Um, and like I said, for the people that ask questions in the group chat, I'll, we'll be following up with you momentarily here individually. Uh, take care, guys, uh, and stay safe out there.